Hey there, my name is Matt Petrowski. I am not a licensed architect, nor have I ever built my own custom home, but I'm doing that in this video series. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about today. All right, so this is an introduction. We are here at the, uh, I've already been working on this house, as you can see, um, as we look at this. I formerly was used to SketchUp only from when Google owned it, and it was a free software. But in the process of moving, I am going to be building my own house. And so I wanted to save some costs if you're an architect or if you're somebody that's saying, oh, no, here's another guy who's going to try to build his own house uh, or architect his own house. That's the first thing I needed to do was do the design. So through this process, I've been learning SketchUp and I am going to show you everything and every step to this point and then continue from this point forward in terms of what I'm going to be doing. Now, the cool thing is I'm using a very limited set of extensions on this, and I'm going to be picking up all kinds of knowledge about the extensions that I might want to use. You can see that I've got a list of extensions right here, all of these different toolbars as I'm shooting this on the Macintosh. These are all of the, not all of them, but some of the Medique uh, plugins that I found that will really quickly build out your house for you if you're a builder or a framer or what have you. And what it does is it's going to give me the ability to get an exact cost on a lot of the materials and know what what I'm in for in terms of just material costs. Then I can throw on labor and whatever a, a GC, general contractor, is going to charge me and so forth. If you are a builder, a general contractor, or an architect, anybody watching this, realize that I've never done this. If you have suggestions, things that you see, if you're a civil engineer, at some point I'm going to need to put engineering into my building here. But the whole purpose of this video series is just to go through the process, learn myself, because I like being nerdy, hence QWERTY, and uh, I want to understand. I like to know all of the different things that go into building this house. So let's start with the first part of working with SketchUp, and that is what I had to become familiar with, and that's what we're going to go through right now. All right, so number one, when you're going to start your house project, it's it can be super overwhelming because you're like, how do I get from just my basic floor plan to all of the different things that I want? You can see that I don't even have any... Um, I don't have any of the uh, appliances in here. You can see even at this point, the stairs, look at this. I mean, I've got a little hole here. I am very much at a very rough stage in terms of what this house is. You can see I don't even have walls that are connected. But as I move around in SketchUp, and you can see right there, I just ran. Uh, I'm on the outside of the wall, and now I'm on the inside of the wall. This is the thing that I had to learn, which you need to learn as well. Here you can see I'm zooming all the way out. There is this little button right here, which makes it really easy to get all the way out. In fact, I'll be showing you throughout this series all of the things that I have learned with regards to learning how to use SketchUp successfully in order to do this. And it really is rewarding. I'm not trying to take uh, money out of the hands of architects here, but it is amazing that you can build you can literally start to lay out your own house and pretty much be able to work with other people, a civil engineer who knows what they're doing. So let's talk about moving, uh, moving around and doing it fluidly so that you're able to work within the space. So the little item right here, the orbit tool, you can see as I hover right there, that's a key thing, but I really don't select on that a whole lot. Um, I use the middle mouse click on my uh, my mouse. Now, if you've got it, I'm on a Macintosh here. I also work on a Windows as well. If you do not have a middle mouse button, mouse SketchUp really is not going to be as easy. Um, there is a really cool little trackball. That I think it's from 3D Connection or something like that. I'm sure somebody will post a link down below that will uh, that allows you to uh, grow through things. Master SketchUp, the Master SketchUp guys got a lot of content and they've been doing this for years and years. I'm all brand new to this. But for the purpose of design, the key to this orbit tool is you want to um, you want to just use that middle mouse, which is what I'm doing right now. And as soon as you want to go to another area, so the mouse button, as I roll the wheel, I'm scrolling in. 
then I can hold down on the mouse button and orbit. But as soon as I want to get to, let's say I want to get to this area over here. If you hold down the shift key and then just drag, it allows you to pull things as you're doing. So that combination of uh, simply orbiting and then holding the shift key when you need to, you can see I haven't, what I haven't done is I have not taken my map, my finger off of the middle mouse button as I'm orbiting here. And then as soon as I hold the shift key, things really get put me into a different place. Now, we're going to talk about in future videos all of the um, the tags, as they call them. I had learned them as layers, and uh, even the professionals in the world of SketchUp, they're still referring to them as layers, but I don't know why they renamed them tags. I'm in a copy of 2021 of SketchUp here, and what's nice is the combination of really being able to see what you are working on as you work, and then being able to... Um, get a different perspective or a different view. That was key for me and it was sort of hidden. Nobody ever covered that. And that's what I want to uh, show you right off the bat. So if I want to go into the house, obviously the key here is wherever the mouse is, the cursor. So the cursor right here, wherever that is, it takes into account whatever is underneath it. So if I start to orbit right here where the mouse is, that's the point of where things are going to orbit from, which is a lot different than if I'm orbiting from this point right here. So let's take a look. If I click and I orbit, it's orbiting off of that context. If I click right here and I orbit, look at how it's moving much differently. It's it's orbiting from this point in the distance as opposed to this point right here. Now, that may become intuitive, but without anybody explaining that, being able to move through your model becomes really helpful when you know that. So if I want to rotate this house, I'm going to not necessarily click in the window here. I'm going to click on this edge if this is where I want to uh, rotate from, or maybe the apex of this. So if I click, I can I get a lot more control in terms of doing that. Now the next thing that I guess I didn't find any videos on it or they just didn't s explain it is, you know, when you really get used to being able to move things how you want them, you can then plan how you're going to travel through your model as you're modeling. So here, if I'm going to zoom, I'm going to put my cursor over the place where I want to zoom and that's where I'm going to zoom into. If I zoom back out, I go straight out through that. Now, what's really helpful is getting into and out of parts of your model. You start to learn that zooming, if I zoom in and I'm zoomed all the way in now into some detail, and let's say I'm going to orbit and look right into this corner. If I want to zoom out at a different rate, then I'm not going to zoom out right here. I'm actually going to move the cursor so that the cursor is not on the object that is closer to me, but is out farther away. And my zoom will actually be a little bit faster. Now let's try that if we go in here and I zoom out. Notice how it's slower. It's much slower because of that focus point of the cursor. So that is a super big key issue when it comes to moving through your model that once you get used to it, you pretty, pretty much know that if I'm too close in right now on what I'm working on and I want to zoom out, I'm going to pick something that's a little bit farther away in order to zoom out. But notice that as I zoom out, how, how the model is zooming out because of the position of the cursor. Now let's pick this point, maybe deep in this room right here, and we'll zoom out. Look at that, how it just really takes me in and out. So knowing where to put your cursor as you're modeling when you move around makes it so much easier to become a really uh, fluid modeler in SketchUp. And I guess there's probably videos and I never really found them, but since this is my introduction video, that is the first things that I wanted, that I needed to learn in order to be able to effectively model within uh, SketchUp is using that cursor. So I think that's what I'm going to leave it at with uh, this video. Actually, let me give you one more tip. This uh, took me for a long time to be able to understand this. Since we're talking about the view, one of the important things is uh, this tool right here. All of these tools have settings that you get to control. I never really uh, got that off the bat, but this zoom con uh, control is where you control your camera perspective or the width, uh, the, the, I think it's the angle 
at which you can see things. So when I click on this magnifying glass, we're going to look down in the very bottom right here, and you can see that there's this field of view, and I currently have it set to 50 degrees. Now by default, I think uh, SketchUp is 35. Now what I did there, and I'll hit return, so there it's a really tight view. So um, it's pretty much these these tools right here. This one, this one, and this one, all combined for your movement. I'm not in this one as much. I am mostly using my middle mouse button for the orbit, and then I'm using the shift. So I don't actually click these tools ever on this um, unless I'm showing something. But that right there, nobody really showed me that, that you can change the field of view. And I was working in 35 degrees the whole time. And when you go into your model, when you zoom in, and you want to look at things, in fact, look at this, I can zoom out in order to reposition myself, hold the pan and pull it so that I'm almost right at the level where I would be at eye level. And we'll talk about viewing and walking around in a future video. But because I want to be able to see, let's say I want to be in this room and I want to, uh, let's orbit here, pan, and I'll orbit off of that so that I can see this room in terms of what I've got going on. I really can't see the ceiling up at this point, but with this magnifying glass, I can simply hit the tab key. You'll see that it will jump down into this area right there, and then I can change my field view to like a 50 millimeter lens. And now I can really see that room uh, pop. And um, you can see that I have a, a lot of work to do. I've got to trim off a lot of my overhangs here. Um, oops, zoomed, zoomed through a wall there, and watch, you know, this is a real pain here. The closer you get, you have to, in order to get back to that, I have you have to zoom through the wall. You get used to that, I'm sure there's all kinds of other tricks. In fact, if you have the tricks, leave them in the comments down below. Let me know, I am at the learning stage of this. Um, there is the SketchUp Essential guys, um, uh, I forget what his last, Geis is his last name, um, but he has done all kinds of SketchUp views, uh, videos for a long time. I'll put a link in the description of um, Master SketchUp and SketchUp Essentials and um, the, the Medique plugins that I'm going to be going through. But we'll be covering all of this in other videos as I walk through this series and I bring you to the point where I am at this stage of uh, building this home and uh, basically just getting everything all set up to uh, start to build a house. All right, see you in the next video and uh, looking forward to it.